YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Casino Resort Tower. Yes, I am back from my hiatus. I have moved! We're still working on getting most of our furniture, but I did remember to pack the essentials uh, so we don't have to worry about waiting for the movers for all that. So I have my equipment. I am here in my new uh, house here. Um, audio levels will be a little bit in flux as I get used to the new areas, but that, that, all that being said, what is Casino Resort Tower? Well, for those of you who were uh, fans of my Project High Rise video, um, and uh, going way back, Sim Tower proper, I should do a rose colored goggles on that someday. Um, this is a tower builder ca tycoon, but with a casino twist and a little bit more focus on the individual uh, guests and employees as opposed to just sort of yada yada it and, and simulating it over top. So a little bit more detail, a little bit more minutia. Let's dive right in. It is available for early access. Um, these, uh, this key was provided free of charge by the developer. Thank you guys very much. Let's dive in, shall we? Now then, for our backgrounds, uh, so we have a couple of things we can do for our CEO here. Uh, let's update their, their look. All right, that's, uh, I, I like the look. I like the look. It, it, it looks like a little kid somehow made themselves CEO and we're just running with it. Now for the backgrounds, uh, these have actual in-game um, bonuses. You can only pick one background. Um, this is hardly a strategy and tactics series, but I do like the criminal justice one. Um, it takes a while in the game for you to get into security. So having some natural background security bonuses um, and also less crime in certain areas so while, you know, while you're waiting to worry about security is a helpful thing. Now, I've noticed here, while this may not necessarily be the most optimal or effective combination, that there are toilet traits on, on both ends here. So, rapid user, less toilet use duration, and you, know, you have to have a one positive, one negative. Small bowel, more toilet break need. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess these two kind of cancel each other out which I just find rather humorous. We, we will conquer the world, free to piddle uh, with our frequent but efficient toileting abilities. Right then, so let's dive in here. Um, I like that you can disable the tutorial. You can also disable the starter rooms, but they have expensive equipment in them that you don't have to pay for. So it's a little bit of a bonus to start with them. So I will start with them and, and make do. Um, also, there's no sweat mode, which makes things easier, but I, let's go with manager mode. For the name of our casino, um, Ladies Lake. Kind of, kind of like a, a King Arthur style casino, um, but uh, focused on the Lady of the Lake rather than King Arthur himself or the Round Table or whatnot. Right then, uh, we'll go with a regular map size here. You can get much larger, but yeah, let's start her up. Okay, so for those of you who are veterans of Project High Rise slash um, Sim Tower, you'll recognize this instant. We have our, our first floor, our first basement floor, and yes, you can go much higher and you can go much lower, hence the name of the tower. Now, as far as what we want to do here, so we start out with our CEO's office, an electrical room, and a server room. And the, the electrical room is gonna need to expand over time. So I'm actually gonna build over the server room um, over a little bit. So what we're gonna do here, let's build. So there's a couple of essential rooms that you wanna get down early. 
Um, one is a bathroom because your CEO actually needs to use the bathroom. In fact, our CEO needs to use the bathroom a lot. Um, we also need to get an employee break room because even though our CEO is is not paid, uh, or at least not officially paid, they uh, they do still need to take breaks. Um, and then, you know what, I think I'll put the server room up here. Uh, we also need to get some stairs up there. There are elevators that you can play with, but at this stage of the game, we're not really too worried about elevators. So the way uh, building works is that when you plop down stuff that needs to get built, uh, people will come swarming in here and start building them. Uh, while we're waiting on that side, let's... I want to put some storage down here. And we can speed you guys up a little bit here. So these are not our official employees, these are just contractors. Uh, but they, there's only so many of them, so you know when you lay down stuff to get built, it does take a little bit of time. All right, so we just crossed over from night into day. And here comes our CEO, our currently our only employee. Now our CEO is gonna get uh, working, but you can actually have your CEO do a number of different things. Right now they are doing what we really need them to do, create HR documents. So one interesting part of this game is there are several different currencies. One is, well, currency, cash, money. Um, but another type of currency are these documents. You have HR documents, research documents, marketing documents, and accounting documents. And these documents are needed to do some mission critical things. HR documents, for example, we can't hire anybody until we start a candidate search. We can't start a candidate search until we have four HR documents. So we really can't do anything until our CEO builds up some, some uh, documents. You need uh, research uh, documents in order to go down the research tree, which is, I might add, very, very extensive here. Like there's lots of stuff to go down here. I have, I have not even scratched the surface at this point. Okay, so what we're going to do here, um, we're going to go to rooms here. We're going to mark this little room up here as our server room. And because the server rack is so expensive, we don't want to sell and rebuy it because then we're going to lose half the value. So we just move it up there. Now what we can do is we can get rid of this wall in between and now our, our electrical room has absorbed this area. The other things that we can do here, let's get a restroom. Oh, that's actually what we need. We need this to be a pump room, not a uh, pump room to support the restroom. Um, and then we need our cell. So don't worry, we're gonna actually get into the to the um, casino itself. We just need to get some critical, mission critical support structures first. All right, so yeah, here, this will be our storage area. Um, yeah, we'll go, so our casino, we want to be nice and big. So we're gonna actually draw our casino all the way, hmm, do we want it all the way over here or do we want it all the way over there? Yeah, it's a little smaller on that side, so we'll do it over here. Just like that. It may seem like we have a lot of money to start with, but this money goes quick and the game's a little tricky in terms of making money. My first couple of test casinos did not do well um, and found, found myself either broke or my finances stagnant. Um, so one has to be care. Oh, we, oh, we shut off the internet, right. So we, because we moved that, she can't work on her computer and we need her working on that computer. So there we go. Now she, now she has her internet back or should. Oh wait, no, because the server room doesn't have power. Server room needs power to provide internet.
There we go. And it sucks quite a bit of power too. But now she should be able to get back on task with making those HR docs, right? Rita? Okay. Just took her a moment to, to realize. Okay, so let's get our other sort of mission critical support structures. And of course, we got to get our restroom and our pump room up and running. So we need a couple of toilets. And yeah, let's do the golden toilets. Frida's all about the toilets. Got to have it right next to the CEO's office. We also need a trash can in here. It's not listed as a critical item, but trust me, you want a trash can. Um, and then a sink. The other things that we want to keep in mind here, rooms are rated by their decoration and lighting. Um, so let's, let's get a ceiling lamp in here. And that way we have some light in the room. Now, the other thing we want to do here is start building out our pump room. Oh, it's still it's still not quite finished being built. That's okay. I don't think she's, yeah, she's not about to explode. Not yet. Hmm, I distracted our builders by building out the casino, so it'll be, a, it'll be a minute or two before we finish that. So while we wait for them to do their thing, let's... Let's do our, um, our employee break room. So what we need is a couple of vending machines. Let's do, actually, so I've been practicing with a couple of different builds here. Let's get a trash can here because whenever they go somewhere, they need to hit the trash can first um, or on their way out anyway. Um, and then we will get, yeah, we'll get the cold drink vending machine over here and then a snack vending machine here. And then we can do a dining table. And we'll get a seat. Actually, before we do the seat, let's throw down a lamp. It also provides light, but it also gives us a little bit of decoration. It does suck up a little bit of power, but it's not terrible. And at the early stage of the game, we don't have a lot of other decorative options. All right, let's get this couch. Ah, so this event always crops up and you always want the research documents. Uh, because this allows us to get some of our really early mission critical researches going. So with 15 research documents, we can go to our research bin here. And maintenance and cleaning are two of our big ones. We're going to grab cleaning just because it's so critical. Because um, otherwise the casino becomes an absolute garbage pile. All right, let's get our utility lines in here. Ow. Uh, so, hang on. Our internet lines need to be rerouted a little bit because it's taking up the, um, the power socket here. So it's a, li a little bit of a puzzle here. There we go, that's better. While we're here, get that online. Oh, okay, our pump room is ready. So we need a small water pump to pump in the fresh water. We also need a small sewage pump. All of the larger sizes need to be researched. All right, so for utilities here, let's get the start with the fresh water and that needs to come up top. 
Actually, hang on. Before we do that, let me just confirm where are the sockets for sewage. Yeah, there. If we come in directly from uh, up above, then. Actually, let's do the sewage first, just so we don't get in our way. There we go. So the water is straight up. Actually, so here's what we do. We just, uh, we bridge the gap. We can do these little things to, to hop over so that we don't get in each other's way. There we go. Bathroom is ready. Needs. Oh, the sewage needs. Um, sewage needs power. We can do that. Oh, and we have overloaded our one generator. That's fine. We can buy more of them. Unfortunately, we only have access to the small transformers, but now you will see why, exactly why we did this. Also, these things are freakishly expensive. This is, the utilities are where most of your money is going to go. Oh, right. And you have to hook up the new one. There we go. Now we keep interrupting our CEO. I hope she can make our, her stuff. Um, now up here for the vending machines, we need to set the menu to basically say what are we selling in them. The only things we have unlocked for the cold one is bottled water. And the only things we have for the snack one is crackers. So we might as well sell those. Now we don't actually have those. What we need is a storage area. Storage room down here. So we need to place our shelves. We're going to do small, small storage shelves. Again, that's the only thing we have uh, unlocked here. We're going to do two of these just to give us some extra thing, plus a small fridge because that is required to uh, hold the uh, cold stuff. All right. So for our inventory here, the groceries are more for the fancier stuff. We're, we're going just for snacks and drinks. Since there's only one thing that can fit in the fridge and it can hold 21 things, let's buy 21 drinks or bottled waters. Uh, for crackers, um, we're going to do, let's do 16 of these things. Uh, I like to do these in base eight. Um, that's the only snack that we can do. We can order other stuff once we unlock it. Uh, no tobacco stuff yet, but we do need lots of other stuff like toilet paper. We're going to get uh, 16 of the toilet paper. Um, we also, I know for a fact, we're going to need surface cleaner, tools, and trash bags. Oops. And you know what? What the hey? We'll um, we'll load up on crackers while we're at it. So those will be delivered. You get deliveries every at the end of every shift. So basically, when night turns to day, or when day turns into night. So we don't we don't have access to these just yet. We don't have toilet paper for the toilets yet. But these will be all filled up. We do need to hook you up to power. Okay, now uh, let's let let's let time go, and um, so let's 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 go to our actual thing that will be making us money, and that is going to be our casino. Because I mean, you know, can't really have a casino resort tower. I mean, there there are lots of other things besides the casino that make you money. I mean, it is called Casino Resort Tower. The resort part is lots of other things that can make you cash. But in, in right now, casino's what we need. And we need a big one. Um, so the first thing you need is a cashier. This is basically where people uh, buy and uh, get chips and whatnot, and you need to have somebody working that. And unfortunately, the you know for all the cool different uh, casino games we have access to, we don't actually have access to any of these except for slot machines. 
we only have slot machines uh, in the very beginning. But again, there's tons of different options that you can get into. So we're going to, the colors don't really matter. Now I do like to mix things up a little bit by having, um, we're actually gonna get a couple of trash cans. So we're gonna have like a little, a little rest area here. And there's a lot of trash that accumulates here. So we do trash cans, and then we're gonna do some more vending machines. In case, you know, gamblers get thirsty or hungry. And then on the other side of this, we're going to place a seat. Eh, smaller seat, smaller seat. The, these, these little square ones are like the smallest footprint seats. And I, I, I am, I being the min maxi type, uh, will stick to those. All right, we'll get a snack station over here. Get a trash can over here. All right, that should be good. Actually, let's, while we're at it, um, just because the, um, the, the, Slot machines give off their own light, so you don't need lighting near your slot machines. But in this little area that doesn't give off its own light, uh, we'll we'll go back to that. All right, back to the slot machines. Let's go for a different color over here. And we just want to spam these things out. Now, these things aren't free. Obviously, they're 2100 bucks a piece, but they also are hungry for power. But just like any good Vegas, uh, oops, I, that one was not optimally placed. We, I know we can fit another one in here. Got it. Beautiful. Okay, now the, um, we need to go to casino games here and we, you can actually research different games with them. Unfortunately, we only have one game at the moment, the Space Mystery. So they're all going to be on Space Mystery. But you know what? Hey, a room full of slot machines identical to each other is kind of on brand for Casino. All right, now we need heap and helpings of power. And I can tell you that our, we're going to be building more generators before the night is done. Um, so we're just going to run you straight through here. Oh yeah, let's pause so our CO doesn't waste too many cycles. Also, we forgot to start our candidate search for a receptionist. That used four of our documents. I should have done that as soon as we had four documents. That was my problem. Yeah, now you have to go to the bathroom and everything's out of power, but that's okay. We will fix it. I will make sure everything returns to power. So we are minus 23. So we need not one, but two more of these electrical panels, these transformers. Thankfully, you can build them behind the stairs. Of course, we can't forget to cook them up. That's better. Yes, please don't pee yourself, Miss Piddle. Of course, she's doing it without toilet paper, but hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, these little icons just tell us we don't have the inventory, but we've ordered the inventory, so that's not gonna be a problem. And yeah, unfortunately, it does take a while for the candidate search to take place. Um, and we're still, yeah, we're still researching cleaning. All right, you're going back to HR documents, which is what we want, because we're, we're going to be doing a lot of hiring. What we're probably going to do here, actually, let's build this now. Oh, that's 
build a, let's, we're going to build another floor up here. It gets a little bit more pricier the higher you go, but this is just how I like to organize things. Because we need an office. All right, let's speed things up a bit here while we wait for that and also wait for our office to be built. We're not going to be able to make use of it right away, but at least this will this will work out. Our goal is to have a receptionist ready to go by nighttime because with that way we can open up the casino. Right now everything is closed down because there's well there's nobody to nobody can really gamble without a receptionist and while our CEO is um, uh, multi-talented they can't act as a receptionist. Besides we need them on document duty for the moment. All right she's on break. This is why we wanted to get the break room going. Even if it's not fully kitted out, it's fine. Your happiness and your employee's happiness contributes to your rating, um, which helps elevate the, you know, bring better clientele and also lets you raise prices without people complaining as loudly. People always complain, but uh, how are you doing? 58%. Okay. I'll see you guys on the flip side once our HR uh, process is ready to go. Okay. We are, we have completed our search for a receptionist. Let's immediately kick off another search, uh, this time for a janitor, uh, which we just unlocked because we finished our cleaning research. But now we get three choices for receptionists. And everyone has their own positive and negative traits here. Slow walkers actually really fine because the receptionist never walks. Uh, less break need. Uh, I mean, unless these are. Oh, hey, it's it's a clone of our CEO. They got the they they, they got the efficient toileting combo. And big ba yeah no we're we're gonna go with less break need and slow walker. Now this this thing here, um, this is like a little mini game where you gotta kind of you know, like guess what they want. It gives you a range, but um, eh, I'm not too big a fan of its implementation because you basically have to make a guess and do they like it? Yeah, this they like it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna assign you to the night shift and casino one. That's all we want right now. The other thing that we want to do is, well, uh, uh, up our prices a little bit. Uh, so there's only two things that we can um, really impact right now. Vending machine prices, which, so there's a sliding scale and there's different tiers here. Um, and what you can, what prices you can get away with it very much depends on your rating. So even getting to budget, everyone gets pissed off. But what you can do is go one tier away from budget and keep it in cheap. And that way you get a little bit more money um, without angering everybody. Same goes with the casino house, uh, house edge. Um, basically the, the size of the bets that people can place, you know, goes up when you increase these and just because of the natural house edge the um you get more money when when you're making people bet more um so yeah we're going to just keep it on the cusp of cheap right now and that will improve our our income all right it is almost time actually while we're waiting we should start building our janitorial um items here so let's we need um we need size two for that size two for the janitor's office itself um and then with the rooms let's see here garbage room janitorial room and while we're here let's also mark our office as an office we're not quite ready to dive into the office but i just wanted to have it built ready to go Once we uh, once we um, get ourselves a janitorial can candidate, the next person is going to be office workers. And actually, not just one round of office worker searches, two rounds of it, 
because we want both a night day and a day shift of office workers. What do we use office workers for? More documents. Our CEO can only only uh, knock out so many documents. All right, nighttime is upon us, or will be very shortly. Now our CEO, you can have your CEO work either nighttime or daytime, but only one of the two. So your CEO is gonna basically go on break um, and go home for the day. So you, you only get your super worker, um, you know, half of the time. But at least you can pick if you want night or day. I'm fine with her staying as the day. I, I wanted her working all day anyway. All right, so garbage room, garbage room. Um, we need a couple of dumpsters to basically be the destination for the trash. Um, and then over here, Over here, we just need a janitorial cabinet. Now, for to make a room tier two, you need certain amount of items in there. Um, it gives the worker in that room a better moodlet. We could pro we could have done that, but to get a work desk, you need to run internet out to it, and I don't really need to. I don't really want to bother with that. Here, we'll give, we'll give the janitor a fancier, bigger couch to chill on when they're idle. Um, and what the hey, we'll, we'll give them a, a ceiling lamp. So that way if they're sitting idle, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, they're at least in a nice environment. Oh, well, speaking of nice environment, we can also do wallpaper, which we definitely want to do for our casino. Uh, um... Sure. There you go, nice dark red casino coloration there. It goes matches the, uh, the vending machines at the very least. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, policies, we want to open at the casino room during the night. So once it officially flips over to nighttime, which I think, yeah, 7 p.m. is the official. All right, so now our delivery uh, people are coming because it's the end of a shift. So that's where we're gonna get all of our supplies and our toilet paper and our soda cans and all that. We got our worker in. Surface cleaners are, are will be there soon. 44% uh, on searching for janitors, that's fine. All right, let's speed up. So yeah, they're delivering all this stuff down here. Now, the nice thing is that you, you set the level and it'll just replenish it each time. So you only really need to stock what you need in a single half day. You don't need to like remember to order new things over time. They'll just keep them replenished. You just basically dictate the stock levels, which is nice. Now we just need some customers, some gambling clientele. Which they, they should come. If you build it, they will come. There we go. So everyone's gonna blitz for the counter here. Or sometimes they have trash that they came in with. That's fine, that's what our garbage cans are for. And you can see there's, there's trash on the floor already, but that's from the construction. Construct, new construction almost always makes trash hit the floor. So now yeah, everyone is swarming around here to get their get their chips so that they can go gamble or I guess stuff their face. I mean, hey, you know, you go to the casino, you, you first thing you do, you get some crackers. All right, hey, I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain at all. Janitor is almost ready to rock and roll and then they can start cleaning the joint. 
I am going to wait because you have to pay everybody at midnight. I'm going to wait till after midnight to actually hire the janitor. Uh, that way we don't have to pay them, but they'll work um, in the latter half of the night shift for us. All right, toilets being put to good use, and we actually have toilet paper for people. People waiting for the sink, but that's all right. But yeah, what's most important is people are gambling. Now, you see those minus 13s? That's actually a good thing. That means they lost money and I gain money. Oh, and we have a crime. Somebody indecent exposure. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about security, where people will randomly decide to do criminal activities and it lowers your ratings when that happens. Um, if you have securities, you can basically arrest the people um, and by securing rooms with like lots of cameras, it reduces the chances of those things occurring. Now our background lightens security or li li lowers crime a little bit, but doesn't certainly doesn't make us immune to it. But now you can see why I built this so big. We have all these slots, but they're all being used. All right, our HR person is ready. Let's start a candidate search for office can office workers. Because we want to get them up and running. And we have the built up HR documents from, that's why I had our CEO work on them all day. You can actually set in your policies, um, smoking policies. You can ban smoking everywhere or um, confine it to certain rooms or, you know, um, allow it everywhere. I'll keep it on for now. Um, but w there, there is a room called a smoking room that you can basically build for the smokers of your place where they can buy tobacco and just tell them, hey, you can only smoke in the smoking room. And that'll make the non-smokers happy because they're not going to go in the smoking room anyway. The indecent exposure person still decides to close the door when they use the toilet. Whoop! <laughs> didn't quite finish there. Um, just as your... Um, just like a real casino, your customers can occasionally win. Of course, how much they win is dependent on, you know, the na the size of the bets that they're allowed to make. The bigger the bets, the, the higher the potential winnings. That being said, um, the, the odds are very much stacked against them. I don't actually know what the percentage chance of them winning versus not, but it is very clearly ag uh, stacked against them. Energize. Yeah, and you can see just like it's, it's almost like The Sims where people have different moods and then they have an overall mood based on which one um, which ones are, are, you know, what moodlets are the, are the strongest with them or stacked up the certain the strongest for them. We do need to get our janitor on, but again, I'm waiting for midnight so we don't have to pay them for today. Then they can start working on all this trash on the floor, plus the garbage cans, which are starting to pile up. All right, folks. So in our next episode, we will um, do our post midnight hiring, get our office up and running and see what other means of profiteering that, that we have available to us. Um, oh yeah, because our, our, Construction expenses count against our income for our profits. We don't have any profits to tax right now, which is good. Um, and yeah, you can actually use HR documents instead of in lieu of salaries. But you know what? I want those documents, so we'll take the 150 there. All right, folks. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.